And for this week, we're looking at Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton. The intro sounds something like this. And obviously we added a little bit in there because when I watch the Clapton videos, it doesn't always do it exactly the same way live. So please make sure you've got your PDF in front of you. Uh, we're going to start with the intro tune, which is going to be the basic tune without the little extra, without the little pinky embellishments and other things, which I'll show you how to do later. And let's get going with the intro tune. We're starting at fret number 7. Then you'll notice it goes to 10 on the second string, and that's followed by a 12. That's the pitch you want to hear. Now, we're not going to play that note. We're going to take the 10 and bend it to sound like the 12. So this is wrong. This is right. We want the bend for the 12. Then you release or unbend it onto the 8 and you finish it for the normal 10. Now this little wiggly thing that I'm doing over there that's called vibrato. Vibrato always sounds cool. And the movement is this movement. You can see my fingers that's bad. You don't want that. It's more of a wrist arm sort of movement and the fingers are staying stationary. So watch the vibrato one more time the whole way through. And you got your first phrase. Now the second bar starts off pretty much the same and the only real difference if you quickly look at your PDF is the last note is that number 9 on the third string instead of the 10. So your second phrase goes like this. Now, on the intro, I think I did something like this. Now, it's just adding a little bit extra to make it a bit more colorful, but your essentially your basic first phrase, second phrase, third phrase, slight different in timing to the first phrase, but it adds on an extra 7, 8, 12, 10. Now notice I did a quick little slide there from the 10 to the 12. It's not shown on the PDF, but again it sounds cool. So you can do you can do a bend, you can do a slide, whatever technique you wish to add onto the song, please do it. If it sounds good, it is good. And if you've got a bit of time, maybe YouTube some of Clapton's live performances. There's a radio release, there's different blues versions. Um, it doesn't really play it exactly the same. Now on the little double stop, that's a really cool little blues trick. And all that's happening there is I'm bending with my third finger, supported by fingers one and two. So I'm not doing this because I can't control the note. It slips and you don't want to hear that live. So what I do, instead of using my ring finger, I bring fingers one and two in for support. And I'm a lot stronger on my string bend, you can see all three fingers are involved. Now watch the pinky, I'm going to angle it a bit differently. And you can hear those two notes ringing. So what's happening is once I've played the 10 and bent it, I bring the pinky in onto the first strings number 10, and I get the nice what they call double stop. And that's just a nice little extra you can put inside there. Another nice extra is maybe a rake, so instead of going, you can do this. And that little rake there, I have to focus on my picking hand quickly. And what I want you to see there is I've got my palm flat across all the strings. It's completely dead until I get to the note I want to pick, which is going to be the 10, or 12, sorry, it's going to go from the 12 to the 10. So I want to pick the 12, so it's mute 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 and then as i want that 12 i lift up the back of the palm so it's, you can see from this angle maybe a bit better as well the lifting of the palm the other palms down and it sounds pretty sweet as well now another nice thing about this song over here is the voicings in other words the way he plays the chords the different chord shapes so instead of doing g like this your normal g and going 
he plays it like this. This is also G. And that's my D with the F sharp. It's a much nicer way of playing. It's a much more elegant way. Um, it's a different way. <laughs> okay, and if you know these shapes, if I know that this is G, and I know my F looks the same, and I know how the notes work in a piano, and also my bar chords, power chords, and things like that, I would also then know that that's F, that's G, so that will be A, and B. So I'm also beginning to learn what they call movable or moving chords. In other words, a shape that you can slide up and down the guitar neck. Very nice thing to know. Okay, same with the D with the F sharp. Looks like that. That would be E with the G sharp. That would be there would be F with the A. Okay, so it's again nice transposable movable chords. But onto this. Now, the diagram is for the chord on your PDF. That's the G. You're starting with finger one on the third fret, all three strings. Middle finger number two goes to the third string. Ring finger goes to the fourth string. Now, on the picking pattern, we're going to look at something like this. I'm going to call out the string numbers. Fourth string, third string, second string, third string, first, second, third, second. So if you put them all together, it's going to sound like this. And the tab for what I just picked is underneath the chord diagrams towards the bottom of the PDF. One more time, calling out the string numbers, not the fret numbers. Strings are 4, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. And if I combine that now with the chord changes, we're going to have something like this. Here we go. Now, I hope you sort of noticed over here that when I went from the G to the D with the F sharp, there isn't a really big change. And to focus more clearly what we're doing, there's the original G, first finger across three strings, that's on the third string, so you actually got two fingers on the third string, ring finger going to fret five, fourth string, and when you go to the D with the F sharp, the first step, there's two steps here, step one, move back one fret, one fret back, nothing's changed. Step two, middle finger, finger number two, goes down one string. This is your new shape, so when you go from here, to here, very small change moves. Okay. After that, normal C, we're all familiar with normal C, and then a normal D. And the only thing that changes when you go to the C chord is you're going to pick from the fifth string. Now I'm going to focus both left and right and into the picture again. I have to keep this working well under the careful eye of Rick from Rick and Morty over here. And uh, here we go. I'm going to play it through from the G to the D with the F sharp to the C and to the D. And we're going to count to four C. If you want to play along with me, you can just rewind the video a bit and jam along with. But here we go. Two and three and four and... tricks that were quite cool when I change from the D with the F sharp to the C I like a little slide so it sounds like this it sounds nice it's just a little bit extra to make it more colorful when I go to the D I add in a D sus4 which is the pinky normal D pinky that's D sus4 and then if I use my middle finger I've got D sus2 so I have this Listen to those notes. That's the sus4. That's the normal D working. Middle finger released for the sus2. And back to the D chord. And it's a nice little extra you can use for almost all the G's. D's, sorry, all the D's. <laughs> okay. Now there is one other slight change over here. At the very bottom of the PD, if you'll see a tab, which looks like this. change in the song regarding the, the, the picking pattern and you've suddenly got two chords in the bar from the G to the D with the F sharp now the picking is going to change slightly so I want to get both hands into play again and I'd like us to observe those two notes from the G to the D with the 
F sharp. Check this out. First, and then we go. And then we go to the E minor. O to, and then O to the C. So once more again, when we're going from that G to the D with the F sharp to the E minor, you'll notice I'm playing E minor like this, not the full E minor. Because I'm playing from the fourth string. And then that little O to leads us from the E minor into the C. Now the tag is on the PDF as well. And if you put it together at speed, it's going to sound like this if you want to play three with. Two and three and four and... pinky with a sus4 and again if you want to release the middle finger number two for the d sus2 those are all the techniques and the basic sort of elements for wonderful tonight um hope you enjoyed if you've got any questions just let me know and uh, have an awesome week cheers